Hello and welcome to the 2022 version of MITCAT's India Risk Review. I am Bhavya Bana and I shall briefly introduce the environment and health risks that may face the country in the coming year. Under this section, eight key risks have been identified that have affected businesses and may continue to do so in 2022. The first key risk under health is the COVID-19 pandemic. India experienced an unprecedented second wave of COVID-19 in early 2021, starting from March and lasting for almost four months, with over 300,000 cases being reported at the peak of the outbreak. While the COVID-19 daily case loads have largely plateaued since then, the discovery of new mutant strains could possibly result in another outbreak of cases and lead to subsequent restrictive and containment measures in 2022. A post-COVID-19 recovery complication, mucormycosis, emerged as a threat in India during the second wave as incidences of cases rose rapidly. COVID-19-associated mucormycosis is largely controlled in the country, however, fresh cases are being reported, along with cases being reported in patients recovering from dengue. In the context of India's experience with the last two waves of COVID-19, increasing speculation on the possibility of a third wave in the future is being made. Amongst all the factors impacting the predictions of the third wave, recent research suggests that the third wave may be witnessed from January 2022 uh, to in India with a peak in February 2022. A key determinant of the severity of the third wave is the emergence of a variant with immuno-escape capabilities. The Omicron variant of COVID-19 is increasingly replacing the Delta variant in many countries. However, further research is required to understand its impact. As of December, the variant has been identified in seven states of India, with over 200 cases already reported. Health risks in 2021 have not been limited to curbing the spread of COVID-19 in India. Traditional health risks in the country, vector-borne diseases, have continued to remain a major concern, with Delhi recording the highest cases of dengue since 2015. Cases of Zika virus, malaria, chikungunya were also reported in the country in higher numbers than in 2020. While managing the COVID-19 crisis, India is also dealing with the short-term impacts of climate change. India has been witnessing a rise in frequency of cyclones in the Arabian Sea, along with an increase in the intensity of cyclones. The western coast of India remains highly vulnerable to the climate change-induced natural disasters, especially in the islands of Lakshadweep. As a result of climate-induced natural disasters and changes in the monsoon trends in the country, incidents of chronic urban flooding are increasing. Heavy rainfall were recorded in the states of Maharashtra, Tamil Nadu, Karnataka, Kerala, Andhra Pradesh, amongst others. Chennai faced flash flooding and urban inundation leading to disruptions to travel, supply of essential services, electricity and water. Urban inundation remains a recurring risk for businesses in India. Among the climate-induced risks currently facing businesses, the risk of water scarcity also remains to be one of the most pertinent ones. The impact of COVID-19 has exacerbated India's water security crisis, increasing the demand for domestic water by 20 to 25 percent. As projected, the demand for water in comparison to the sources available is going to exceed by 50 percent by 2013, significantly impacting several industries operating in the country. The worst hit industry would be agriculture, followed by leather, paper, chemical, textiles, food processing and other industries that depend heavily on water. That's all for now. Thank you. Please do check the other risk categories on our YouTube channel. You can also download and read the detailed India Risk Review 2022 on our website and on our LinkedIn page.